What's up folks? The science behind Captain America. Yo, what's up everyone? Ever wonder what really makes Captain America Steve Rogers such a mind-blowing hero? I'm not just talking about the vibranium shield or his rock-solid morals. I'm talking about his body, the biology behind every punch, every jump, every time he says, I can do this all day. For real, we see this guy in action and think, that's sick. But what's happening inside him? How did a serum transform a scrawny dude into a super soldier who defies the laws of physics and biology? Buckle up, because today we're diving into the anatomy, powers and abilities of the Sentinel of Liberty like you've never seen before. We're going to crack open the scientific secrets behind Earth's greatest hero. Stay tuned, because what you're about to discover will change how you see Captain America forever. No joke, it's gonna blow your mind. To kick things off, let's talk about what really changed the game for Steve Rogers, the Super Soldier Serum. Before that, Steve was a skinny guy with health problems who could barely stand up. But honestly his determination was something else, and that's what Dr. Abraham Erskine saw in him. The serum, which is the big secret behind everything, isn't just some super powerful steroid, you know? It's a complex chemical formula, developed to push the human body to its peak physical and mental performance. Think of it this way, it doesn't create superpowers out of nowhere but optimizes every cell, every muscle fiber, every brain synapse to a level that we mere mortals can only dream about. It's like his body was a regular car and the serum transformed it into a cutting-edge Ferrari, still using the same base, just turbocharged to the extreme. That's freaking wild, right? What the serum does, in biological terms, is something science is still barely beginning to understand. It enhances all of Steve's metabolic functions, and most impressively, it prevents the buildup of fatigue toxins in his muscles. This means Captain America can fight, run, jump for hours on end without feeling the fatigue that would knock us down in minutes. It's like his body has a super efficient self-cleaning system, removing lactic acid and other toxins that cause muscle fatigue. In my opinion, this is one of his most underrated abilities because it's what allows him to maintain intensity in prolonged combat, like when he holds back a helicopter or goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Thanos for a while. His endurance is off the charts and it comes directly from this cellular optimization. His metabolism, for example, is four times faster than a normal human's which explains his caloric diet needs and why he never gains weight. Who wouldn't want a metabolism like that seriously? And it's not just the muscular part that's affected. The serum optimizes Steve's cardiovascular system to a level where his heart can pump blood to his muscles with incredible efficiency, ensuring he has oxygen and nutrients to spare for any effort. This translates into lung capacity and circulatory efficiency that allows him to run a mile in less than a minute which is a speed that would make any Olympic athlete cry with envy. To give you an idea, the best human sprinters run 100 meters in under 10 seconds. But maintaining that speed for a mile is something only Captain America can do. And his bone density? It's much greater than a normal human's making him incredibly resistant to impacts. He can withstand falls from considerable heights, punches from superpowered beings, and explosions that would pulverize an ordinary person. It's as if his bones were made of a super-resistant material, almost indestructible, but still flexible enough not to break. It's a perfect balance, a true miracle of fictional biotechnology. Now, let's get into the part everyone loves, the powers. And when we talk about Captain America, we're not talking about flying or shooting rays from his eyes. His powers are more subtle, but no less impressive. Actually, it's the combination of all of them that makes him so formidable. His strength, for example, in the comics, it's said he can bench press about 800 pounds as a warm-up, and in some versions, like in Marvel Cosmic Fandom, that number goes up to 1100 pounds. That's more than the world record for weightlifting. And in the MCU, we've seen him holding a helicopter, throwing a motorcycle, like it was a paper ball, and breaking a submarine window underwater. Honestly, that's way more than 500 pounds. The scientific explanation for this would be a combination of muscle density enhanced by the serum, which allows each muscle fiber to generate much greater force and neuromuscular efficiency, which is the brain's ability to recruit more muscle fibers at once. It's as if he uses 100% of his muscle potential while a normal human uses, what, 30%? It's ridiculous optimization. And the speed? We already mentioned he runs a mile in less than a minute, which is about 60 miles per hour. That's faster than a cheetah in full sprint. And it's not just running speed, but his reflexes. The serum enhanced Steve's nervous system to the point where he can process visual information and react to it in a fraction of a second. That's why he can dodge bullets. It's not that he's faster than the bullet, of course, but he can anticipate the trajectory of the shot and move before the bullet hits him. 
It's a combination of enhanced vision, ultra-fast brain processing, and superhuman agility. And the healing factor? Yes, he has one. It's not on Wolverine's level, who can regenerate an entire arm, but Captain America's body heals from injuries much faster than normal. Cuts, bruises, even fractures heal in a matter of hours or days, instead of weeks or months. This happens because the serum accelerates cellular regeneration, allowing his body to repair itself much more efficiently. And the question of immortality? Well, he's not immortal in the sense that he can't be killed. But the serum drastically slows down aging. It keeps Steve at the peak of physical fitness, even at nearly 100 years old. It's as if his cells had an advanced DNA repair system that prevents cellular aging. That's crazy. Because it means that if he's not killed in combat, he could live for centuries, always at his peak. It's biological immortality, not mystical. And we can't forget about his mind. The serum didn't just affect his body, but also his brain. Captain America has an accelerated learning capacity, a photographic memory, and tactical ability that makes him one of the greatest strategists in the Marvel Universe. He can analyze a battlefield in seconds, identify threats, advantages, and disadvantages, and create a perfect attack plan. It's as if his brain were a supercomputer processing information in parallel and finding the optimal solution to any problem. He learns any fighting style in very little time, masters any weapon with impressive ease, and leads the Avengers with a mastery that inspires everyone. In my opinion, this is his most powerful ability. The strength, the speed, the endurance, and all of that is amazing, but it's Steve Rogers' brilliant mind that makes him the true Captain America. He's not just a super soldier, he's a tactical genius, a born leader, a symbol of hope. And that, my friends, no serum can create. It comes from within. Speaking of mind, we've touched on it, but it's important to go deeper. Captain America isn't just muscles. He's a born strategist, a tactical master who thinks several steps ahead of the enemy. Think about it. The guy went from a skinny kid who got beaten up in alleys to the leader of the Avengers, the most powerful team on Earth. That's not just brute force. It's pure intelligence. The super soldier serum, besides enhancing the body, also supercharged Steve's brain. He has an information processing capacity that is, honestly, enviable. It's like he has a neural supercomputer inside his head, analyzing data, calculating probabilities, and identifying patterns in real time. For example, in the famous elevator scene in Captain America The Winter Soldier, he's unarmed, surrounded by several Hydra agents, and yet, he manages to disarm and neutralize all of them with brutal efficiency. It's not just reflex, it's the ability to predict the movements of opponents, to use the environment to his advantage, and to improvise masterfully. He's a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, mastering various martial arts and fighting styles. And the most impressive thing is how quickly he learns and adapts. You throw a new fighting style at him and within hours he's already applying it perfectly. That's incredible because it shows that the serum didn't just give him a perfect body, but also a perfect mind to use it. In addition, Steve's photographic memory is something we can't ignore. He can absorb and retain an absurd amount of information, from complex maps to enemy profiles and military strategies. This makes him a living archive of tactical knowledge, which is a huge advantage in any conflict. And his leadership? Oh, Captain America's leadership is legendary. He inspires confidence, loyalty, and courage in everyone around him, from the Avengers to the lowest-ranking soldiers. He has an unshakable sense of justice and a moral compass that never fails, which makes him an example to follow. In my opinion, this is the true essence of Captain America. It's not the serum that makes him a leader, but his character, amplified by this super-powered mind. He doesn't just give orders, he leads by example, throws himself in front of the bullet, and never, ever gives up. That's why, even when he's facing an entire army, you know he'll find a way to win. He is the embodiment of resilience and hope, and that is something that transcends any scientific explanation. It's the soul of the hero, and that, my friends, is what makes him truly special. It's a combination of intellect, experience, and a huge heart that sets him apart from any other super soldier. Seriously, it gives you chills. Now, let's talk about the feats that cemented Captain America as a legend. We've already mentioned some, but it's important to contextualize how unbelievable they are. Think about Steve Rogers holding a helicopter with his bare hands, preventing it from taking off. That's not just brute strength. It's a demonstration of muscle endurance and gripping ability that defies logic. A medium-sized helicopter, like a Black Hawk, weighs about five to six tons. Trying to hold something like that is equivalent to trying to stop a moving truck with your hands. His grip strength is so absurd that, honestly, I think he could crush a steel bar with one hand. And we see this in other moments like when he breaks metal chains or bends prison bars. It's concentrated strength, coming from the optimization of each muscle fiber and the ability to recruit all of them simultaneously. That's wild. 
because he's not a giant like the Hulk, but the efficiency of his strength is comparable to machines. Another jaw-dropping feat is his ability to survive falls and impacts that would kill anyone else. Remember the scene where he jumps from a building and lands on a car? Or when he throws himself from a plane without a parachute? His body absorbs the impact in a way that's almost magical. The bone and muscle density, combined with enhanced flexibility, allows him to distribute the impact energy efficiently, minimizing damage. It's as if he were made of a super-resistant material but with the malleability of an Olympic gymnast. And we can't forget about his resistance to pain. He gets beaten up, shot, stabbed, but keeps fighting. It's not that he doesn't feel pain, but his pain threshold is much higher than that of an ordinary human, and the rapid recovery capacity allows him to ignore injuries that would paralyze other heroes. In my opinion, this resilience is what makes him one of the hardest heroes to defeat. He simply doesn't give up, and his body is programmed to take a beating. And the combat? He's faced cosmic beings, gods, giant robots and supervillains with powers far beyond his own. Think about the confrontation with Thanos in Wakanda, where he manages to hold back the Mad Titan for a few seconds, even without the Infinity Gauntlet. That's a feat of pure willpower and, of course, serum optimization. He didn't beat Thanos there, but the ability to resist such a powerful being, even for a brief moment, is proof of how far the serum has taken him. And his precision with the shield? It's almost an extension of his own body. He throws the shield with a force and precision that defy physics, making it ricochet off multiple targets and return to his hand. This is a combination of his enhanced strength, superhuman reflexes, and an intuitive understanding of ballistics and physics. It's as if he had a supercomputer calculating the perfect trajectory in real time. It's amazing, seriously. Each of these feats isn't just an action scene, it's a lesson in applied biology and physics, showing the incredible potential that the human body can achieve, even if with a little help from a magical serum. And that, my friends, is what makes Captain America such a fascinating and inspiring character. He shows us that, with the right combination of science and spirit, limits are just an illusion. But what do you think is Captain America's most impressive feat? Leave it in the comments, because I want to know your opinion.